Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome. I see TikTok is already live and ready. Amen. Welcome to those of you who are tuning in on YouTube, Facebook, and TikTok. We are getting ready for our 5 a.m. Uh, protocol breaking prayers. Hallelujah. Welcome somebody and uh, tell us where you're tuning in from. Please let us know. Um, just tell us the city, the country you're tuning in from. We're getting ready. I know it's a Sunday morning. I know that you've had a late Saturday. Maybe you went out last night after our prayer at 10 p.m. But today, God says we must set the day on fire. Hallelujah. This is Sunday. This is day three of our fast. We are still on our program for 31 days of grace and favor. And this 5 a.m. morning slot is our protocol breaking periods. God is going to break protocols for you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get your journals, get your papers ready, and get your, uh, um, your jotters ready. Make sure that you are ready to receive that word that will spring into your heart. I welcome you, Jonah. Thank you so much for those who are coming in. Those of you who are coming in, please make sure you are sharing and make sure you are tapping. Make sure you tap on that screen so profusely until your screen, you know, begins to vibrate and you know that the Holy Spirit is on board. Amen. Today is a special day. Hallelujah. I hope all of you can hear me. Hallelujah. Today is a special day. Can you type on your comment section, open doors? Somebody needs to type open doors. Hallelujah. There is something the Lord is going to speak to us prophetically about open doors. I'm only going to be before you 30 minutes because we still have services uh, throughout the day. So we are going to be much shorter today, but tomorrow definitely we will be there again at 5 a.m. Before I start, please, I I implore you to go to the timeline, click on the YouTube link and make sure that you are subscribed to the YouTube link so that at no point do you... um miss out on the, uh, uh, the, the the messages or the prayers. Hallelujah. This is protocol breaking prayers, protocol breaking prayers. Hallelujah. Open doors. Thank you so much, Hani Gubeni, for typing open doors. We are going to get right into the word. Open doors. Who is in the fire for open doors? If you are believing God for an open door, I want you to lift up your hand and just show me by a wave of open hands. Okay. I even forgot that I can't see you. My God, please make sure you are typing open doors on the comment section. If you want God to open doors for you, please uh, just type open doors in the comment section. I want to see people typing open doors. I need you to engage with me because we need to contact this fire very urgently. Hallelujah. The word of God is sufficient. The word of God is available that God is going to open doors for us. Hallelujah. When we keep the word of God, God qualifies us for open doors. Hallelujah. God qualifies open doors for people who are worded. Hallelujah. That is why we always start with the word of God. God does not deal with victims. Hallelujah. So we are removing every form of victim mentality. The doors of the prison opened up for Joseph. Hallelujah. And I believe that God is here this morning to tell you that God is going to open those doors for you in Jesus mighty name. The doors that are opened by God are the type of doors that open you and release you from captivity. Hallelujah. I see doors of liberty opening for somebody in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The children of Israel were released from captivity. They were released. They were being chased by Pharaoh at the back, but they were faced by the Red Sea. So from wherever you are, from whatever angle you are in, whatever storm that you're in, you can be guaranteed that there's an open door. God opened the door in the midst of the sea, in the midst of the Red Sea. God opened the door. Somebody type open doors as you are coming in. Make sure you are tapping and sharing. Hallelujah. I see an open door of liberty. I see an open door of ministry. I see an open door of manifestation. Hallelujah. It is going to happen. It must happen. It will happen. The devil does not have a say on it. It shall be so in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible, our anchor scripture this morning as we are about to start praying is Isaiah chapter 45 verses 1 to 3. This is what the Lord says to his anointed to Cyrus, the king of Persia whose right hand I have held to subdue nations before him. So God is saying to us prophetically as well, he has hand, held up our right hand to make sure that we are subduing nations. Not only should we subdue nations, but we will subdue our enemies. Talk to me, somebody. He says, and I will undergird the loins of his of kings, uh, disarming them to open doors before him the, that the gates will not be shut. Hallelujah. When the Lord steps in and opens gate for you, the Lord will undergird the loins of kings to make sure that there is no kingdom that will prevent you. In, front, in fact, those kingdoms will uh, of necessity have to open doors for you. They will have to open their gates for you. Talk to me. He says, I will go before you and level the mountains. Is there somebody who is saying, I 
am a candidate for the leveling of mountains. Whatever mountain has been facing you, the Lord is saying to me, there is somebody who has been faced by a mountain of depression, and the Lord is saying, I am leveling that mountain. Like the same way I leveled it for King Osiris. Hallelujah. I, I will le level that mountain for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hear what the Spirit of the Lord says. He says, I will shatter the doors of bronze and cut through the bars of iron. I don't care what those iron bars have been made out of. I don't care what prison you are finding yourself in. He says, I will cut through those, those, those iron uh, 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 bars. I will cut through those bronze bars. Hallelujah. Whatever they are made of. Why is it the Lord doing this? He says, I'm doing this because I will give you the treasures of the darkness. Whatever they are hoarding in the darkness, whatever they are hiding from you, from the darkness, wherever they are, somebody type open doors. The Lord is saying, I will open the doors of prisons for people this morning. Hallelujah. He says, I will make sure that I, I open the doors so that you can access the hidden riches of the secret places. He says, there are things that are put in the secret places and those things you need to untap and you need to take out. Hallelujah. He says, there are hidden riches in the secret places. So so that you may know that it is I that has opened that door. The door that other men have not been able to. The door that your friends, your uncles could not open. You've been begging too long. You've been asking your uncles too long for favor. You've been asking that rich auntie too long for favor. But the Lord is send me, sending me here this morning to tell you, open doors. Open doors. Open doors. All is match. The Lord is opening the doors for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. So that you can know that it is I, the Lord, who did it. And it is not your uncle. It is not your parents that did it. If I did it through your parents. I did them as a vessel. They were just a conduit to make sure that this thing comes to pass. You know that your parents didn't have the money. Your parents are not educated enough to send you to that school. So you know that God has done it. Hallelujah. The Lord of God, Israel, who calls you by your name this morning. Who is here? Let me call you by your name. Masiho, it is the Lord God of Israel who is calling you. It is the Lord God of Masiho who is calling you out for an open door. He says, so that you can know that it is I, the Lord, who is opening the door to the secret places, to the dark places, so that you can unlock the riches which I have sent for you. We are going to encounter a door today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are going to move forward from another place to another place. When doors open, it means stagnation has been released. It means we are beginning to, beginning to move. It means that you are moving from point A to point B. I see the Lord saying you will not move in, in the stages of A and B, but the Lord is going to catapult you from point A to Z. Whatever your destination point is, you don't have to drive there. You don't have to walk there. You don't have to run there. But the Lord, he says, I'm lifting you up on the wings of an eagle. You are flying there. Hallelujah. The Lord says, when I open the door, not only do I move you from one place to another place, but I'm changing your levels. Hallelujah. This morning, I'm changing your levels. Hallelujah. In the above, in the above scripture that I just shared, the Lord promised his people that their gates will never be shut. Tell your neighbor, it will never be shut. That gate will never be shut. It will never be shut. That gate will never be shut. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That gate will never be shut. Hallelujah. I know that in life there are circumstances where God shuts the door for his people himself, but it is for a reason. Hallelujah. There are certain doors that have been closed for a reason. Yesterday I gave a word to somebody. And, 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 and I said, if it is the will of God that that door should be shut, there are some things or some relationships and associations we entered into and the Lord did not want those relationships. And when the Lord wants to shut that door, you don't need to fight it. It may be hard. You need to cry your tears and mourn your mourn and you wipe your tears and you shake yourself and say, that person is out of my life. I need to stop begging. I need to stop lobbying for them to love me because if I have to force them to love me, then I have to maintain the forcement season in, the, in their lives. Hallelujah. You are not there to force anybody to love you. You are too worthy and too valuable to the Lord God. Talk to me. Hallelujah. So the Lord is saying to me this morning, tell them fortune that they need to examine their doors. Tell them that when the door is closed, it's closed for a reason. But if the evil, if, if, if the devil is the one who has closed that door, I have the keys of David. I have the power to open those, those doors. I will open those doors. But any evil door that the enemy has shut, let it stay shut. If it is a door that is an enemy of evil or darkness or evil or, 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 or no success in your life, that door will remain shut in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that God will open 
open doors for you in the morning. Hallelujah. God will open doors in the noon time. God will open doors in the evening time. Every successful door for you, every effectual door for you, it is opening now in the name of Jesus. Somebody type in that comment section, open doors. If you are not tapping, you should be typing. If you are not saying amen, you should be saying open doors. Talk to me. It is, uh, it is you who will prophesy it. Hallelujah. What are these doors? Doors are, are, are symbolizing of a transition of you moving from one place to the other, moving from your place of barrenness to your place of fruitfulness. Hallelujah. Where, 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 where the other side of the door it is, that is exactly where we are going. That door must open. We are not staying stagnant. If the door will not open, go through the wall. Talk to me, somebody. Am I communicating to somebody? If the doors will not open, then we will open the walls. We will go through walls. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. What is a door, Fortune? A door is an entry and a door is an exit point. There are doors we need to enter. There are doors we need to exit. Hallelujah. Thank you for those who are following the host. In the name of Jesus, there is a door that God is saying enter. There is a door that is saying exit. I don't know where you are in your life right now. Examine your door. Tell your neighbor, examine your door. Examine your door. Karabashonda diabasonda. Ikalabrasonda. In the book of Acts, uh, Peter had to determine to how to come out from the bondage of prison. Talk to me, hallelujah. There is an entry and an exit point. You know what has been putting you down. You know what has been suppressing you. Decide right now, I am exiting this prison. I am exiting this prison. No more will I stay in an abusive relationship. No more shall I be emotionally abused. No more shall I be verbally abused. It is an open door for me. It is an exit door for me. If it's an exit door, I come out in the mighty name of Jesus. Open doors for you, hallelujah. Open doors. May you exit where you need to exit. May you enter where you need to enter. What are doors, Pastor Fortune? They are spiritual boundaries that keep us from places, in a place, or they keep us out of a territory. I don't know what territories the Lord has spoken to you that you are supposed to enter. I, in, in the power and the unction that I'm speaking under right now, I declare open territories to those, uh, open gates to those territories. Make sure you enter the territories. The Lord is saying, I'm expanding you. You are not meant to be a local champion. You are meant for new levels. You are meant to enter the territories that God has set aside for you. You are meant to go into countries that your, your parents never went into. I don't know what your limitation or whatever you have told yourself. It is time to unlock your mind barriers. It is time to unlock the gates to your mind. Open your mind. Open your horizon. Fly high. Go into other territories. Go into other countries. Go and conquer. Go and conquer. Whatever devil is trying to stop you, they will not succeed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, there are spiritual boundaries. Yes, it is. There are barriers. There are barriers that prevent you. Yes. And God is saying, I'm uplifting those gates. I am opening those doors. I am opening so that you can gain access to that particular place. You are receiving the unction to gain access to that particular person. Some of you, you have been waiting to talk to somebody. You've been asking for calls for somebody who's supposed to unlock a certain contract. And it's like they've been evasive. That you are calling, you are sending WhatsApps, you are sending messages, but they are not coming back to you. I declare and I decree in the next 74 hours, 72 hours, in fact, let me reduce it in the name of Jesus Christ. That person has to respond to your call. They will respond to your call and they will apologize profusely for not retaining your call. We need to access people. There are people who are holding our possessions. There are people who are holding our, our belongings. This morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, let that person lose sleep until they return my call. When I call tomorrow in fact this day you call them i don't care it's a sunday come back with the testimony come back with the testimony as we pray tomorrow morning at 5 a.m i want to hear from you that you have you managed to get that person and they have apologized your meeting has been set up in the next 72 hours talk to me hallelujah the doors that i'm talking about this morning there are doors that will enable you to cross the threshold that has been placed i don't know what is the threshold that they placed they said that we are only taking 100 people, you tell them, mm -mm -mm. my God has opened doors. Uncommon favor is speaking for me. I Uncommon favor is speaking for me. God is suspending all protocols for me. Protocols have been suspended so that I break through. I don't care that they said the limitations was for 10 people. I don't care whether they said that the applications have closed. Send through that application. Sometimes, children of God, you need to do the abnormal so that you can break through the normal. We are not normal. We are not normal. Somebody tap on that screen. Make sure you are sharing and inviting. If you are not typing, you better be saying amen. 
Father. I am not responsible alone to make sure that this comes to pass. You need to take responsibility. If you are not typing open doors or amen, make sure you are tapping on that screen. Hallelujah. What is a door? The door is that which represents a crossing of the threshold. Hallelujah. Which indicates to me, my, my child, children of God, that God is, is opening up a door that you um, encounter significant movement. You see, when you break through a threshold, it means you have broken through a significant movement. It is significant. It's not step by step. I'm not talking about step by step. I'm talking about leaps and bounds. I'm talking about flying higher. Leaps and bounds. Leaps and bounds. Hallelujah. And once that threshold has been crossed, the unimaginable possibilities of God will be evident in your life. How am I doing for time? I'm still okay. In Jesus' mighty name. Open doors, open doors. Where are you? We are flying high. Communication can be absent. Agreement can be absent or present if a door has been opened or shut. I don't know what communication you are waiting for, but God must make sure that it is present. If it is absent, it will be present. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are going, the person who was supposed to be on the day of, they must open. Open that door in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And when those unimaginable possibilities are open, hallelujah, you will begin to experience a fruitfulness that, like you've never imagined before. Hallelujah. What are the doors that we've encountered in the scriptures? Hallelujah. Let us see whether this has been done before for those Thomas that are not believing. The Bible says Jesus is the door. Hallelujah. I am the door. Anyone who enters through me will be saved and will live longer. Hallelujah. And they will live forever and will go in and out as freely as they want. We need doors that we can go in freely as what We are not slaves. We are not under an embargo. You will go in and out as you want. Hallelujah. You will be in the city. You will be blessed. You will be in the field. You will be blessed. Anywhere you operate, open doors. If you need money, open doors in and out as you wish. In and out as you wish. Hallelujah. Find the pasture you want to breed on. Find the pasture that you want to be fruitful in. I don't know what your pasture is. Is. But the Holy Spirit knows what your pasture is. Hallelujah. The Bible says that there was a great door that was open. He says, because a wide door has been opened to us, an effective door of service. That means that there is a word for that minister that is listening to me. There is an effectual door that has been opened for your ministry, for you to operate in your calling. In the name of Jesus, Kariaba Sonda. I see God opening doors, single doors, open doors, double doors. If you are tired of being too single, ask God and say, God, open double doors. I need a partner on my bed. I need to have a spouse by my side. Settle me maritally. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible says in Psalm 24 verse 7, he says, lift up your, your heads, all your gates, and be lifted up ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. We declare and we decree that this morning, Ancient gates shall be lifted up. They will remain lifted up so that you can enter. You can enter into your royal palace. Talk to me, somebody. If you are not typing, you are tapping. Do something. Do something. Are you not tired of the same prayer point? Ancient doors, lift up all ye gates, all ye ancient gates, that the king of glory may come in. Is somebody hearing this? Are you hearing it? Heaven is speaking. Asunder, for the Lord will pass through to strike the Egyptians when he sees the blood of the lintel above the entryway and on the top post. The Lord will pass over the door and will not allow the destroyer to come into your house. That is saying, the Lord says, I must announce to you that those house doors have been, 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 been there's a blood that has been posted on your door that the, the destroyer will not be able to come in. The Lord says there shall be no death in your household. The Lord says there shall be no death concerning your family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the destroyer will have to pass over. The destroyer will not enter your house to slay you or your children. The destroyer will not enter your business to slay you. Is that somebody in the broadcast session today? Is that somebody who dares to say, open doors as you say it, as you type it, so shall it be in your life in the name of Jesus. The Bible tells me that there is a door of faith. 
Somebody has been saying, Lord, I want to grow spiritually. I want to pray more. I want to experience and hear your voice for myself. I am tired of preachers telling me what the word of God says. I need a door of faith that will be resurrected inside of me. He says, arriving there, they gathered the church together. They began to report everything that God had done with them. And the Lord opened a door of the Gentiles. Talk to me, somebody. Karaba Shokorea. You are not born again. You are on this broadcast. Kalaba Shekete. You are not born again. You are from the Gentiles. Hallelujah. The law is on. Lord is opening the door for you so that you enter into the faith that will elevate you to the next level. Talk to me, somebody who is here. Karaba Shekete. There is a door of hope that is being opened for you. The prophet Hosea says, Then I will give to her vineyards from there, and I will make a value of Am Eka, a door of hope and expectation that anticipating the time when I will restore my favor on them. Are you hearing what the prophet is saying? The prophet is saying that there is a door of hope that will be open for you. Your expectations shall not be cut off. Hallelujah. Whatever you are anticipating, the challenge is that people are not anticipating any, anything. What am I doing for time? Nine minutes to go. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Somebody says open door. Open, open door in the name of Jesus. There are doors of our lips that we need to watch over. Psalm 141 verse 3 says, set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips to keep it from speaking thoughtlessly. There is a door that we need to shut. Hallelujah. The door of our mouth, the door of unbelief, the door of doubting God, the door of saying, I don't know, maybe the Lord will show up, maybe he will not show up. I don't know, but the Lord always shows up. Hallelujah. That should be the what comes out of your lips. So God, guard my lips. Somebody, somebody make that a prayer point. Father, guard my lips in the name of Jesus. The door of my lips must be guarded so that I don't issue utterless thoughts. I don't, I don't just speak anyhow. I don't speak negligently. I don't curse my children by neglect, by erroneously, recklessly. You will not speak recklessly in the name of Jesus. The Bible has showed me the door of the word. He says in Colossians 4 verse 3, he says, at the same time, pray for us too, that the God will open a door for us. That it means the God will open a door of opportunity. Can somebody declare and decree that a door of opportunity, open doors, doors of opportunity, are being opened to me in the name of Jesus Christ so that we can proclaim the mysteries of Christ. Talk to me, somebody, so that we can proclaim the mysteries of Christ for which we have been imprisoned. This was an apostle that was crying and saying, I have been imprisoned for this gospel. Let us not make the imprisonment of the apostle Paul to be in vain. Do you know what it means to go to jail for people for something? And we want to take it casually. Open doors for me. Talk to me. If you are not tapping, you are typing. If you are watching me, just pray, just casually. I don't know what you're doing. You need to be typing that word. Hallelujah. This is your destiny we are talking about. This is the, your protocols that we are breaking this morning. Oh, Rabbi Shikonda. Father God, mm -hmm. let the doors of the gospel be open in the name of Jesus. Every church door shall be open for a day in your court is better than a thousand anywhere else. I would rather stand at the threshold of the house of God than in the tents of wickedness. Father, we come against the spirit of wickedness. We'd rather stand at the, court, at the tents, at the courts of the Lord. Hallelujah. We'd rather be found in the church than anywhere else. They can mock us. They can tell us we are stupid. They can tell us we are silly to wake up at 5 a.m. to make so many shout and, and decrease, but we know what we are believing for. It is better to be in the courts of God than be sinking in depression. It is better to be in the court of God than on the beds of men and women, spiritual husbands who are going to run us helter-skelter, destroying our lives. It is better, child of God, that you enter the, 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 the doors of the church, that you are found in the word of God, that you are found believing God, than be found in shrines where you are killing people, where the blood is being spilled for your success, because God is more than able to to make sure that your success is certain and it will come through in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you for breaking doors. Prison doors were broken by praising and praying by uh, when the when Paul, the Bible says Paul and Silas were in prison and when they sang praises and when they prayed to the Lord, an earthquake came and it shook the prison doors. All the doors were open. Everybody was released. Hallelujah. I see God releasing you. I see the Lord releasing you as you praise him this morning. Open doors, open doors. 
in the name of Jesus. After this, I looked and behold, a door standing in heaven, open heaven. There is an open heaven. There is a door in your open heaven. After this, you will look and you will see a door standing open in heaven. There is a door that is standing open in heaven right now. They are ready to take your prayer request going to and fro. Are you, are you hearing me? Hallelujah. And the first voice which I heard was like a sound of war. It was like a sound of a trumpet speaking, which said, come up here and I will show you what must take place after these things. Is there somebody who is ready to, to hear that voice? Is there somebody who's hearing that voice with me? Heaven is calling. He says, come up here. Let me show you what I've prepared for you. Karebe shekende. Oh, shanda diabasa. Come on, tap on that screen, tap on that screen, tap on that screen, tap on that screen. It is free. It is free. You don't have to pay for it. Open doors, open doors, open doors. This is an invitation to move forward. When the prophetic word comes forth and says, open doors, it says, move forward. It's time to move forward because I, the Lord, has set this open door for you to move forward. The, the, the door that was opened in the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 8, says, I have opened a door that no man can shut. Hallelujah. God is saying, move forward. Tell your neighbor, move. Somebody type in the comment section, move forward. Thank you, Tinsualo. God bless you for those gifts. Come on, move forward. Tell your, tell your neighbor. If your neighbor will not listen, move forward. Make your name. Put your name in the comment section. Fortune, move forward. It's time to move forward. Hallelujah. It's time to experience freedom like Peter in the book of Acts chapter 12. When they had passed through the first guard and the second, they came to the iron gate and to the that, that leads to the city of its own accord, the Bible says the door swung open. May you see your door swinging open. Mm -hmm. Wherever you will step into this morning, as you go out, doors will swing open for you. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to command them. Some of these doors will open. You will say, ah, God, how did they know I was coming? Talk to me. Hallelujah. You must go in and out as you wish. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. I see new potentials. I see new opportunities. This is the time when you are typing that amen like thunder. You are typing that amen like a believing Christian, not a fickle Christian. You are not mediocre. Make sure you are typing that amen as we go into prayer and, and, and decrease. As I'm closing, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I release new potentials. I release new opportunities. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I decree and I declare removal of barriers in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I, I declare and I decree to those who are listening to the sound of my voice uh, that a change in levels is coming their way in the mighty name of Jesus. They will knock and the door shall be open. Oh God, no door shall be shall be locked up to them. Whatever door they will knock on, Lord, it will open in the name of Jesus. In the next 72 hours, the door that they opened, Holy Spirit, it is opening right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever opportunity will present itself in, in the form of a door, I declare and I decree that door is open in the mighty name of Jesus. That door is open in the name of Jesus. Oh, Kashakatakadia. Reki sonda liaba sonda. Thank you, Jesus. Karabasunda. Listen to this child of God. When an opportunity presents itself in the form of an open door, you must ask yourself the following questions. Whenever an opportunity presents itself, ask yourself in the form of, of the following questions if you want to know that it's God. Have I prayed through about it? Have I prayed through about it? Will this opportunity bring glory to God or will it dishonor God? If it will bring opportunity to God, you must know that the answer is yes and amen. Does this opportunity bless other people? Does it contradict the scriptures? If it agrees with the scriptures, then you keep on declaring, you keep on walking, you keep on shining. That is why I'm saying it is easy to discern what is the fake word of God and what is the real word of God. If it agrees with the scriptures, if you want to step into that door and you know that God, there is an agreement with you in the word of God, it is time to step through. Hallelujah. You ask yourself, have I received the confirmation for this door? Is it the right time for me to enter God? Does it require my total dependence on you? Then you know it is God. For as long as you have a plan B, listen to what the Lord told me yesterday, that too many of us, we've got too much plan Bs. What are plan Bs? It is your uncle, it is your auntie, it is your friends that you are still relying on. But for as long as you will have total dependence on God, you must know that is an open door from God in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. So if you can answer any of these questions in the negative, prayerfully consider your next step. 
But if you can positively answer these questions, you know that the Lord is with you. Talk to me, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know that the do- if it's negative, you, you prayerfully consider, God, is this a closed door? Am I trying to force open a closed door here? There is a need to change direction if you see negativity. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We see in the scriptures that God closed the door of uh, against Balaam to prevent him from proceeding on a journey that was against the purpose of God. Talk to me, hallelujah. We saw closed doors in scripture as well to prevent the enemy from gaining entries, hallelujah. The gates of Jerusalem had to be shut due to the risk of the enemy entering Jerusalem. So your doors or your gates are shut for a reason. I told you earlier that the doors get shut for a reason. Hallelujah. Maybe you need to develop spiritually. Maybe you need to to, to count the cost of whatever you are entering into. But the Lord is saying, as long as you don't trust in a man and you trust on me, depend on me completely. Hallelujah. I will secure that that thing happens. Hallelujah. Stop trusting in a man. Stop trusting in a man. Hallelujah. Trust in God totally. There is no need to wait anymore because I, the Lord, will do it. I, the Lord, will perform it. I, the Lord, I am here. God is breaking protocols for you. Protocols are being suspended for you. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. It is time to push forward. It is time to gain access forcefully if you have to. Hallelujah in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever I'm looking, I'm seeing open doors. I'm seeing open doors for you, Hanin Gubeni. I'm seeing open doors. Who is here? Otis March. I see open doors for you, Matwala. Give me four minutes, I'll be out of your hair. Hallelujah. Roshikonda. I will go before you and level the mountains. I will shatter the doors of bronze and cut the bars of iron. The Lord promises to break the gates that have been withholding you, the gates that have been holding you back. In the name of Jesus, we must cast down all imaginations. Hallelujah. Bring every contrary thing to the subjectivity of God. Hallelujah. Everything is coming to an end. We declare an open door in the name of Jesus. God is said to give us open doors in this month of May in the mighty name of Jesus. As you tap more, as you pray more. Come on, bring up those prayer requests. We are about to start. Three minutes. I'm sure I can capture some requests that I can make sure that they come to pass. It is not I, it is by the grace of God. If the Lord is willing to do it for you, it shall happen. Open doors in the name of Jesus. The Lord will open up the door to eternity for those of you who are accepting the Lord Jesus as their Lord and Savior right now. In the name of Jesus, Father, we will strive to enter the narrow gate. Hallelujah. For many say to you, will I seek to enter and will not be able. The Lord is saying the grace is sufficient. You are entering through the narrow gate. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. When once the master of the house has risen up and shut the door and you begin to stand outside and knock at the door saying, Lord, Lord, open for us. And he will answer and say to you, I do not know you. Where are you from? May we never be found on this side of the door when God will ask us, where are you from? Hallelujah. Right now, if you are not born again, I want you to say this prayer with me. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I accept your son as the Lord and Savior of my life. I accept your son as the Lord and Savior of my life. I agree that he died for my sins. He rose again on the third day that I may live and and, and, and rule. Hallelujah. He, He rose so that I may be blessed and no longer be cursed. Jesus, I invite you come inside of my heart and live inside of my heart and be Lord and King over my life. I declare that I'm born again. I will not be found on the other side of the door where I will be questioned that I am not known by God. But this morning, Lord, I come into your fold. I come by faith in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, grow my faith in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you have prayed that prayer, say amen with me. Hallelujah. If you have prayed that prayer from an aspect of restoration in God, say amen in Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus. None of you, none of your doors will be shut. I declare and I decree that none of your doors will be shut. I want believers who are typing that amen. Hallelujah. Where are those prayer requests? Hallelujah. Very quickly. Shakonda, I'm left with one minute. Oh, Jesus, give me grace. Rakosiondo, the God of open doors is here. Father, God, we thank you for open doors. We praise you for open doors. We praise you for open doors that no man can shut. We praise you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, that you have not allowed the enemy to shut any door. The door of mercy has been open. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for the jobs. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. 30 seconds. Do you have any prayer requests or you have a testimony? If it is a testimony, declare it. We saw people getting healed yesterday. We saw people get... Somebody said, by morning yesterday at 5 a.m., somebody said, 
Pastor, pray for me. My husband will come back. A husband who had gone away for days. Hallelujah. I'm sorry I missed that testimony when you typed it in the comment section. That is why I said type it on the on the videos, on the, my first pin videos. Make sure you put that comment. Hallelujah. So that I can celebrate and call you or do whatever. Hallelujah. Somebody said, I came for morning prayer at 5 a.m. My husband had been absent, had abandoned our house, but they are back. That was by 10 o'clock last night. So from 5 o'clock and 10 o'clock, God is are able to just do turn around on in hours, few hours. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Lord, we speak to every single migraine headache. We speak to fibroids. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Kariaba Sonda. Cecilia, you are healed in the name of Jesus. Matwala, you, you are receiving your financial breakthrough. God is moving with speed, this man says. Do not miss it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Senior, you will be employed. I open those international doors for you. You will go and work overseas. Choose your country, baby girl. Makoria Sonda. Tembi, we thank the Lord for your job in Jesus' mighty name. Even if they say the applications have been closed, you go ahead and send it through. Karebe Shikonda. Hey, goodness, Hungwani. The testimony that was said last night, tap into that anointing. Tap into that anointing and keep speaking. My husband is coming back. If God did it for somebody yes, yesterday, they can did it for you. Relationship breakthroughs, you will have your spouse. When I started talking this, this morning i said your spouse is coming you no more you will be open. if you need to do double doors to your bedroom to signify that god you are entering with your husband in jesus mighty name when you're getting on your bed lay hands on the other pillow and say thank you god for my husband who's coming to lay here in jesus mighty name thank you for marital settlement for beverly in jesus mighty name Basonda, father thank you lord that shy is moving to the uk in the mighty name of jesus christ let that visa be approved let the image Immigration uh, papers be approved speedily, speedily in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ah, Kariaba Sonda. Caroline, we come against relationships that have been plagued by evil spirits. Whoever is a third party, whoever has been manipulating your relationship, that it will not come to pass. In the name of Jesus, we are arrested now. We bind every evil manipulation. Everybody who is saying that you will not be happy maritally, it is a lie from the pit of hell. The devil is a liar and so his mother-in-law. Hallelujah. User 7713, you are receiving your financial breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for debt settlement. Thank you, Lord, for doors of employment that are being opened. Who is this? Machiavelli, Roshikonda, Matlajo, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, as you type it, you receive it. As you type it, you receive it. As you are tapping, you receive it. As you type it, you receive it. Thank you, Lord. Mapule, I'm coming to eat the cookies with you. We are coming to celebrate that wedding. I'm looking forward to celebrating that wedding. I'm looking forward to celebrating the, those who will be giving birth, those naming ceremonies. In the name of Jesus, Zakarebe Shekere, Liko Sonda, the Lord is closing the doors to death. I'm shutting down the doors to death. Somebody, you were meant for an accident. Your car would have... I don't know what is what was about to happen, but I see God saying, the door of death is shut right now. I, I was seeing a vision of an accident rolling. Hallelujah. It is a Honda. It's a white Honda. White Honda. Mmm. You will not die. You will not die. Thank you, Lord, for promotion for user 6018. Receive your promotion in the name of Jesus. Ah, Kariaba Sonda. Master Malume. Hallelujah. You are going over to work overseas. Just oh, doors are open for you. Karebe Shikonda Riaba Sonda. The doors. I see that this is an international Ma Kariaba Sonda. I'm going to talk to our We need to open doors. If you will not bear fruit in the land you are in, dare to move. Dare to move. Pick a country in this week, in this month of May. Pick a country that you want to move to. There are those who are meant to come and fix Africa. We will be here. We will be fixing Africa. But when the Lord says move, we will move. The Lord will bless you where you are. Don't worry. It will not be there. Father, I see Makoriaba Sonda, who is being called back for an interview. You have gone for the first phase of, the, of your interviews. You are being called for the second interview. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will no longer be duped by fake people who are saying they love you, but they will love you for real. Receive 
receive the right person in your life. Receive the discernment to choose the right person. In the mighty name of Jesus. Nosa Benson, Tinswalo, I bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rokoshonda diaba sokalaba. Rekishonda diaba sende. Open doors. Make sure you are following the host and you are tapping on the screen. Don't forget to tap on the screen and follow me on YouTube. Hallelujah. Makerebe shonda. Father, I thank you for these ones. Kalebe shonda. If it was not for time. Oh, shekende. What is the Lord saying? Hallelujah. Reke shikonda. Beverly, we stand in the gap for you. We speak to your mother's health right now. Father, I declare and I decree from the, from the head to the soles of her feet, oh God. She is healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak. I, I send the blood of Jesus to purify every single part of her veins, everything, everything in your mother's DNA right now. It is being purified. The Lord is performing that surgery for her right now. She will not have to get another diagnosis that is negative. Whenever she's going to the doctors now, right now, take her to the doctor in this grace, in the next three days, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Prophetic doors of open doors, open doors. Declare it right now. Keep typing, open doors in the name of Jesus. You will advance supernaturally. There is an advancement that is being released. God is advancing you in the name of Jesus. God is delivering you. Whatever it is that they had changed you in, whatever altars that have been fighting you right now, open doors in the mighty name of Jesus. Karebe Shikonda, Mapule, thank you so much for tapping into the anointing of healing for your mother in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I speak to the diabetes. I speak to uh, high blood pressure right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, I thank you. Pastor Mavina, thank you, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' mighty name. Um, in Jesus' mighty name, may your ministry be fruitful and, 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 and expand in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anytime you open your mouth, anytime you minister, the power of God is sufficient and it will be seen. The Lord will give you evidence of signs and wonders to confirm your ministry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, who is here. Father God, we pray for Stephen, who is a husband to Angela. Holy Spirit, we thank you, Lord, that he will get a job. He will be dignified as a man. He will support his family. His family will not lack. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, thank you for the dignity of open doors. We pray for Alex and Charity in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I thank you. I pray for every single person on YouTube, every single person on Facebook. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord meet you at the point of your need. Contact your jobs right now. As I stretch out my hand right now, as I stretch out my hand right now, make sure you are reaching out your hand. Let's stand in agreement together open doors in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, so whatever undiagnosed health issue, right now, I speak to it right now, right now. You don't even need to go get another diagnosis. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. The Lord is diagnosing you. He's saying clean health, clean bill of health. Receive the clean bill of health in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, oh God. Fire, you will be restored. You will be restored and your dignity as a father is restored. There is too much that the enemy has been doing in the lives of our men, in our communities, in our nations. The Lord wants to re restore the dignity of men. There is something when a man's spirit is crushed, when a man cannot provide. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, I pray for meekness of wives. Those, those wives who are in those situations, those wives who are being faced with the pressure financially that their husbands are not working. Holy Spirit, may they be a meekness of spirit. May they be understanding, Holy Spirit. May they be encouragement. The Lord, give them the strength to encourage their husbands, oh God, that their husbands, oh God, will be encouraged to go the extra mile. They will not give up, oh God. Nobody will commit suicide. Nobody will give up. Nobody will walk out on their family because this is a temporary situation. Nobody will make permanent decisions in temporary situations. Nobody is walking out. Are you hearing me? I'm not saying this from my mind. The Lord says, fortune tell them nobody is walking out of your family. Nobody is walking out of your family. Whatever arguments have been happening in your household, you tell your spouse, nobody is walking out. Nobody is checking out of here. We are standing together for better or worse in richness and in health, in richness and in poor conditions. We are standing together because we are the, our, our marriage is founded on God. Therefore we are eradicate poverty. We are standing together in the riches of God. We are seeking the riches of God. In fact, they should actually cancel that. That that vow that says in poor. We are not vowing to be poor here. We are vowed to be rich. Hallelujah. Therefore, we stand in the riches of God. We, re, we stand in the divine presence of the prosperity of God in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Makariaba Sunda. Oh, Lord, I need to close. Shekila Baya.
Ikando do boshia. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Oh, rabababababa. Father, that child that has gone away, that prodigal son, Matwala, he's coming back to you right now in Jesus' mighty name. We arrest the spirit of addiction. We arrest the spirit of addiction. Father, I speak to that person who's got, who's got a headache here. Oh, Shakadia Basunda, I Kora Bashenda Liabasunda. Come out, Karabashunda, Liabasunda de Lebeshe, I Calabra Sunda de Lebeshenda. I declare you are healed right now. No more. Migraines, Kade Beshe Kende Diabasonda. I speak to that vein, Kalabasonda. I speak to that sciatic nerve that has been giving you problems, your lower back pain in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I declare and I decree spinal cord come into alignment. Spinal cord, you are healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to those swelling feet. Somebody has been having a problem. You have not been able to put your feet on the ground. I speak to somebody who has been having dizzy spells. Confirm if you're in the comment section. I don't know which platform you are in. Some of the platforms I cannot see. The Lord is saying no more dizzy spells. No more dizzy spells. Oh, shakonda maya sonda dia basanda. Na kariya basanda nushe. A future husband has been released, my baby. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kariya basanda. Father, align nushe to be the wife that is in waiting. Hallelujah. Makorobo shikonda de mashende. Mmm. I... I... I hear the Lord healing the womb area. Hallelujah. Right now you are feeling a, 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 there is a move. It's like, it's like, it's like a move, a whirlwind. It's going around your waist. Hallelujah. On your waist. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So Who is that person that the Lord is touching your womb? In the name of Jesus Christ. They have found, they've been saying there's an abnormality. There's an abnormality, but the Lord is saying, I'm reconstructing. Constructing your womb in the name of Jesus. Father, we speak to those UIF claim handlers in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that file come up hither, come up hither, come up hither to be dealt with in the mighty name of Jesus. It is done, it is granted in the name of Jesus Christ. Goodness, am I talking about you? Hallelujah, Father God, I speak to that stomach issue. In the name of Jesus Christ, every organ in your body is working. It is working the way the Lord ordained it to work. The Lord did not create you with that issue. You are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for confirming that headache being healed. In the name of Jesus, Grace Mohane, whatever relationship issue is there, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, if the Lord is willing, if the if that person is your person, may the will of God be, may, be come to pass in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mangi, thank you for confirming the Lord healing your legs. Your shikonda, you are healed in the name of Jesus. Prudence, I thank you. God bless you for the gift. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ah! Stomach problem has been healed in the name of Jesus. This is the God of a thousand times more. This is a God that brings instant testimony. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for Galen Clark. In the name of Jesus. Shekiro Bosienda. Permit me to leave you guys. Permit me to leave you for now, saints. We meet together tomorrow at 5 a.m. By the grace of God. I don't know what God will do later. If the Lord brings me back online, I will come back online. But we don't know. But today, go and bust. Go and, and, and claim your victories. Go and claim your open doors. The God of a thousand times more is breaking protocols for you. Your, these protocol breaking prayers that you have pray today. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. I am still fasting. I'm not stopping. Make sure you are following me. Make sure you follow me on YouTube. Please do yourself a favor and do me a favor. Please put that testimony on the comment section of my pinned videos. There are only three pinned videos. Pick any one of them. I will definitely go there and I will read it. I don't care whether there are thousands of them. I will definitely pray for it. There is one thing I don't do. I don't play with God's work. If it is you who is going to put it on that, that prayer request Come back. Don't be like the other nine lepers. Come back and pray and say, God, I thank you for the testimony. Thank you, Lord, for the prayers of a thousand times more. Thank you, Lord, for PBP. The protocol breaking prayers have 
delivered my breakthrough for me in Jesus' mighty name. Those of you on Facebook and YouTube, I love you. God bless you so much. I need to start getting ready for church service. Hallelujah. We will post, we will repost our church services on YouTube later on in the evening. Hallelujah. Around 6, 6 p.m. they will already be hallelujah somebody said they are claiming victory you see hallelujah father thank you for wisdom and understanding if i know that if i continue especially you guys on fortune online i see mara official they are challenging us hallelujah on tiktok hallelujah but thank you so much god bless you god bless our partners those who are making sure that we are continuing to bless uh, uh to be a blessing online hallelujah if you want to become a partner you can rush over to my youtube you can subscribe on any of the memberships that we have put in there you can subscribe for whatever amount you pick whatever you want those of you who are subscribing on tiktok talk thank you so much those who are gifting thank you so much may god enlarge your territories and even add more may you go out and be favored don't miss monday morning 5 a.m whatever you to do pbp we are here 5 a.m god bless you let me just say goodbye to youtube